Dalvin Gadsden, his attorneys and supporters gathered at the Colorado Springs Police Department to announce the filing of their federal civil rights lawsuit accusing three Colorado Springs police officers of the use of excessive force. This is no way that. Uh, <laughs> what does he look like normally when you encounter him? <laughs> I mean, is this what you get when you when you encounter? DeAndre, whatever the fuck his name is, or is it, did you get a? Did you see something? The there? hairline is crispy. Force. This is no way that a human should be treated. Um, and I'm also a military veteran. These police officers, they definitely need to be um, fired and arrested. All three of them. This is the police body camera video of the incident. Officers say Gatson was pulled over for not having plates on his vehicle and for driving. Okay, right off the bat. Like, yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, number. that's a huge thing. Like, like I, for one, I, I drove a car one time that didn't have plates. I was driving a car back from the auction and I didn't get tags on it yet. And I had my man following me. So that no cop could get behind me. Yeah, that's the that's only true. time I've ever driven a car with no tags. Now I've driven a car with fake paper tags on it, but it had a tag on it. I've never <laughs> driven a car other than that one time that didn't have. How about you guys? I had before after I bought a car, I drove with the tag applied joint on for like a week. <laughs> but it had a tag though, right? Yeah, it did have a tag. Yeah, no one drives around with no tag. I've done it before. I, uh, my, my brother, we were going to take off, and he was across the street from the sheriff's station, and he has like a really loud, hopped up beamer. As soon as he turned it on, dude, the fucking sheriff's guy walked outside and was like, nope, because he knew it wasn't registered and shit. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just like if you're riding around at night with no tags on the car, like you're going to fucking get pulled over, man. I did it for our first truck. It was in broad daylight. I'm looking at Aurora, Colorado, and it looks like some some kid just threw paint on on the map. Because it's like, you know, it's got little pockets here, little pockets there, and it's got little pockets of other things. I love it. It's like pockets here, pockets there. It's like the municipality is not consistent. It's not a, a line. It's a bunch of little pockets around. So they're that's everywhere. Weird. No, that's All Aurora, Colorado. Them. This is the police body camera video no, of the oh. incident. Like Officers say Gatson was pulled over for not right. having plates on his vehicle that's and for true. driving 15 in a 45 mile per hour zone. As the officer approaches the car, he claims to notice a knife in a cup holder calling for backup. All right, man. So he's driving around with no tags going 15 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. They pull up, they see a knife in the cup holder. Like, I mean, you're firing cops. Like, right off the bat, just the way this starts, it's like, yo, like, what do you want to, what, what are the officers supposed to do, man? Oh, it, it gets better, Ock. It gets better. And so, I'm um, going to ask you to just not reach for anything and step on another vehicle, okay? Well, I'm coming out of the vehicle for it. Uh, we'll talk about that, okay? Because I asked you to fucking. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that, okay? Gadsden opens the doors and turns around. You're under investigation for a DUI. All right, so stand up, turn around. After not getting out, you can see an officer try to grab Gadsden, and he pulls away, retreating into the vehicle. His attorney says Gadsden was fearful and confused, but the in Oh, he's so afraid. Yeah, man. Turned physical oh. with multiple punches and more. To see a veteran. Oh, this guy, Bakari Sullivan. <laughs> oh, he's, he's over there fucking with this shit. He's, he's CNN <laughs> anchor, man. He's one of the CNN talking heads. This is what, this is what our best, of, like, he's one of our best and brightest. Even though this guy's a piece of shit, um, liberal, he's one of our best and brightest sudden it man we got man you know what i'm saying and he's going to denver to fuck with this shit of all the problems in our community he's this one got him standing in front of a fucking podium 
this fucking kid. There's there's two more because all three officers had body cameras on. Jesus Christ! Wait, right, is... and and the one that they're not showing you when he gets back in the car the first time, mm. he gets in the driver's seat and reaches for the keys. He is going to drive off. Yeah. So they kind of partially pull him out. Then he dives in head first towards the console with the open fucking knife in it. And they wonder why police <laughs> start beating on him. Trini, with your own eyes, be pummeled. Trini, with punches and more. To see a veteran with your own eyes. He's be lucky pummeled. he wasn't shot in the 20 back. times, be kicked in the head. Yep. Uh, look at his injuries after. And then what got me was the officer, the young man, as he was taking pictures of his hands with the little smile and smirk on his face. Attorneys say he, he, these people Gadsden suffered a black eye, contusions on his back, a closed brain injury, and emotional distress. They obviously do not understand how badly I was hurt. It seems like you're okay now. That my mom if you'd have got stomped out at the club, you'd have been hurt way worse. I said yeah. his name right now. Colorado Springs Police Administration reviewed the case and found the use of force was within their policy. But there is a separate internal affairs investigation happening now. The police chief stating last week, it is imperative that we look at all the facts when evaluating officer interactions with citizens. We will respect the ongoing court process, but welcome dialogue with our community when we are free to talk about this case further. Kim Posey, yeah. Fox 31. Look at all the facts like we're under political pressure because of these crazy sun men that want to come in and sue us. Well, that and I, for one, I'm tired of this. Just because you're a veteran doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit. Right. Facts. Just just because you served and he was in the fucking National Guard. Oh, shit. That's like fake shit, right? It's not the real no, thing. it's. I mean, he might have done time in, a, in Iraq, but what the fuck did it have to do with this situation and his choices there? National Guard, the nickname is Weekend Warriors because they train on the weekend <laughs> only. But, you know, what does that have to do with his his situation there? Not I just put the full traffic thing. 